Monet is dead because of you. You kill me, your life is over. Carter has something on you. Then you need to get something on him. Boom is coming for us, you know that, right? Davis, we're fucked. Every time y'all do some shit and leave me out, it gets fucked up. We decide what happens next. Get the fuck away from me! Fucking go! What are you thinking, Dee? How you gonna get out of this one, brother? What up, what up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Odai J and we are locked in. Here we are. What's next for the season finale of Power Book 2 Ghost? And well, Monet didn't quite make it, but she did go out guns blazing and she took one for the team. After everything she's done, how she's thrown all of her kids up under the bus, she went out for Kane Tejada just to let Noma know that this ain't a game and I really hate you. And even though me and my kids have our differences, I'm standing on business. Now it's up to Tariq because we have to figure out what we're gonna do with Don Carter. But before we jump into this and break down this trailer, if you like power content, breakdowns, theories, and predictions, tune in tonight, 3 p.m. Eastern, for the after show on the clock, where we break down each individual character. Then hit your subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Make sure you hit that like button. And hey, let's go ahead and jump into it. This is what's next for the season finale of Power Book 2 Ghosts. Remember, this is the end. We're still waiting to see what Tariq's decision is going to be as far as what are we doing with Don Carter? We got him tied up. We low-key kidnapped him. Braden ran the car into him. But Don Carter did expose that he has footage of Tariq unalive in Zion. So what is the next move? This is the finale. And he said, if he doesn't radio in to his partners, the whole city is going to be on fire trying to find them. Don Carter seems to have the upper hand here, and we don't know what exactly Tariq is going to do. Tariq had the drop on him at the church, but he ended up getting whooped on. So Tariq has to make that decision. I do believe Tariq is going to probably consult with Davis one last time before they do this and either A, see if they can come up with some kind of agreement or B, I can see somebody being rogue and just unaliving Don Carter. This trailer, it looks like there's going to be a lot of action. It looks like the police are going to be involved after this major shootout at this wedding. We're just going to have to see how it plays out. But Don Carter, he seems to have a little bit of confidence still. We do see Monet's body getting drug up out of here. R.I.P. to Monet Tejada. She was a good one. Auntie Mo, man. But with Monet gone, the siblings are all back together. Now, I didn't expect to see them all on the same side. But I do like how they tied that together. Kane, Drew, Diana, they're all about to crash out over Monet. Even though they had a rough childhood and Monet was on them, she did mold them into who they are and they love their mother. So regardless to what their differences was, they're still going to stand on business. And this unaliving really hurt them. The last time we seen Braden, he was helping out Effie. They did kidnap Don Carter and he's still on those drugs. But we hear him singing, Noma is still after us. And when they were at the warehouse, Tariq asked them, do you want to live your life with Noma looking over your shoulder? So I'm assuming that Brayden, if he takes a hit of that white girl, that cocaina, that powder, that Colombian dancing dust, then he's willing to crash out. At this point, we know Brayden is really ride or die, even if it does take some drugs. But I think Brayden is going to make it out and he's going to be standing next to Tariq in the very end. We see Kane become humanized. We heard the story about how he wouldn't flip on his mom. And the last words he told Noma was F you before the shooting got to happening. And he seen Monet get chopped down with them chop chops. But we see Kane crying here because we know, as I mentioned earlier, there may be differences between him and his mother, but that's still his mother. And he doesn't want anything to happen to his family. So he's going to have to put his little past beefs with his brother behind him. They're going to have to come together. And right now, Kane is really going to step up. You heard Monet. She said, when Lorenzo got locked up, you stepped up and you didn't have to be the man in the family. But you did, Kane. Now, I'm assuming with Diana and Drew getting down on the ground, this is either right after the shooting and they're clearing out the house. Maybe they're out in some kind of garage or the feds are just closing in on them, period. And maybe Drew and Diana end up going to jail. 
but more than likely i do believe that these two well all three of them might make it out of the series alive without their mother and go on about their regular lives diana going off to school drew he's taking that art program in Paris, and then maybe kane goes to california but i don't think they're going to get arrested i think this is just the feds coming in talking to them and seeing what the hell's been going on because there is a shootout with kane and the cops we see Davis back in the courtroom, so it looks like they're gonna try to end up his story, and we're gonna see if he actually gets his law license back. He did catch a body in episode nine. He was a little spooked about it, but he's in this courtroom, clean as hell, and he's looking for the next chapter in his life. Because if they can get rid of Noma, he can go back to practicing law. He already beat some Rico cases. But then again, at this point, Davis, he's back in the game. He's going to be a valuable asset for Tariq. Seeing Tariq with Anya, and then we also see Anya yelling at Noma, talking about stay away from me. It looks like Anya's finally found out what's going on, and she's probably going to take Tariq's side. Now, there's also a scene where it looks like Anya may have a gun putting in some work also. But her and Tariq running away, Tariq must have showed up, came and got her, and now Anya's realizing all right, my mom, she's crooked. She's evil. I got to get away from this. So we're going to see how this plays out. But the whole plan that Tariq was trying to use in the end of season three going into four, where Effie backdoored him and told Noma about it, here we are. It's came full circle. So Anya, she's been messing with Tariq. So she's going to trust Tariq a little bit more than anyone else. Colombiana is crashing out. We heard her telling Kane, we're going to do what we need to do. We're not letting anybody predict our life. So if she's running up dumping like this and Kane's like, whoa, 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 whoa. We're really seeing Diana crash out over this unalive in the Monet. Now, I'm not sure who she's shooting at, but it's got to be Noma, her henchman, Noma's brother. Because Diana, in the last two or three episodes since the Felicia incident, she's turned into a whole nother demon. She might be the most ruthless to hide at this point. She's really trying to fill that void of Monet Tejada. The walls are closing in on Noma. The best thing for her to do at this point was really to just leave the country. You're married to Kane. You can have someone else process the, the marriage certificates and everything, but you need to go back to Nigeria. Get back to Africa with your brother because this is an all out war. And with this being the finale, we know in Tariq, he's amassed a little tiny army, not nothing serious, but enough to actually fight back. And with the whole Tejada clan on Tariq's side, it's bad for Noma. We see Anya already been giving Tariq information. She's partnered up with Tariq. So it's looking a little wild out here. Noma, you're going to really have to make that decision. Either you with us or you against us. The only issue is this is the finale and you can't be with us. So that leaves you against us. In this photo here, we see Kane, Drew, and Diana. And in the back, I can't tell, but it does look like that may be Anya. And if this is Anya teamed up with the Tejadas, it's over with for Noma. It's over with for Noma. We don't even know what Anya is capable of. But here we are. The Tejada trio, they're back together. They're working together. Tactical. Kane in a do-rag means bad news or not. We do see Effie in the clip. And it looks like she's at Don Carter's house. And what I'm thinking is she's over there trying to find that security footage. It's either over there or over on Felicia. But I'm assuming it's Don Carter since he mentioned it to Tariq. So she might be wiping this. And I think after she gives Tariq that information, she's going off to California. She's going to get out of here, tell Tariq, hey, I'll see you later. It is what it is. But we all know that's her end goal. And Tariq was basically using that and holding it over her head saying Brusandri is going to run her mouth unless you help out. So Effie, she's looking for her escape plan, and I think this might be her last mission. At the hangar, we see Kane in a shootout with the police. Diana screaming, maybe Kane ain't gonna make it out of here. Maybe Kane is going out like his mama did, guns blazing, just a couple of days later. That's the only thing you're gonna get. Remember, he said he either wanted to be Bumpy Johnson, Nikki Barnes, Frank Lucas. He wanted to go out like a gangster. He wanted to be immortalized. And let me tell you, we're going to always remember Kane if this is his demise. But he's doing it for the family. And sometimes a man got to do what a man got to do. And that leaves us with the question that Don Carter asked Tariq. What are you going to do? I don't know if Tariq is going to do this. 
But if we gonna end this on a good note, we ended the OG power with Tariq taking out his father. Why not end Power Book 2 with Tariq taking out a cop? I mean, what do we got to lose? There's no tomorrow. All right, there you go. What's next for the season finale of Power Book 2 Ghost? Let me know what you think about Tariq and also down below, put your predictions of who isn't gonna make it because there's gonna probably be a couple of deaths here and it's not looking good for Kane, at least from what we've seen. But let me know what you think. I'm ODIJ. This is the season finale. Four years have came and gone. We got one week left. If you like power content, breakdowns, theories, and predictions, live after shows, tune in tonight, 3 p.m. Eastern. Then hit that subscribe button for me. Hit that like button. Thanks for watching. I'm out.